Yo, Elliot, I have been having trouble with women as I often come off as too aggressive. I've been told this multiple times by my friends that I don't look approachable as I rarely smile and I'm too straightforward and to the point. I understand this is very acceptable when talking to other men as it helps us get shit done. I have trouble balancing the tenderness with aggression when approaching or talking to women I'm attracted to. Any thoughts? So I have to deal with this term that you use very early on. You say, I come off as too aggressive, right? But I'm not necessarily sure that's the case. You say then also that my friends say I don't look approachable and that I'm too straight to the point. You're just a straight guy. You're just being straight up. You're not, you're not pushing or reaching or trying or needing or grasping or hankering for anything. When, when I hear too aggressive, I think I need this. I got to go get it. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to go get it, right? Too aggressive means too much. In fact, I remember, and aggression is neutral. When I, when I say aggression is neutral is that it can be used for good, it can be used for bad, it depends on the context of the situation. I think about when I was a young beta male. When I was a, a young beta male, maybe you know in my 20s, I started waking up you know, in my later 20s and, and early 30s, but when I was speaking with women or being in places where uh, you know, I thought it would be good for me to be friendly, I overdid it. Now, I was being too aggressive. I would smile a lot because people would compliment me on my smile. I got a nice smile. I do. I got a nice smile. <laughs> I got nice straight teeth, right? And my whole face lights up when I smile. So I, knowing that, I would smile a lot. And I already talk loud and I would talk a lot and I would probably over talk, over smile, be over eccentric, exuberant, zub, uh, what is it? exuberant and excitable, right? Aggressive, right? And I, I think back now as an adult of what I was trying to do when I was being that way, and it, is, it was that I was aggressively seeking validation. And I thought this very extroverted, smiley, laughing, making a lot of noise and shaking the boat would of course get me attention, but now I look back and I realize, well, it was just too much, Elliot. You were overdoing it, being over aggressive. Now, you say that I don't look approachable. That means when you say you don't look approachable, I take that as you just have a stoic face. I'm just straight. I just got a straight face, right? But prior to me being, being uh, a, a, a beta male in my early 20s, when I was in my teens, I was kind of a straight face. And I, then I grew out of that, and I'm a straight face again. And a lot of people say that, I, that like yourself, they say, well, you look like you're mad or you look like you're unapproachable. That's not necessarily the case. If, if, if I look unapproachable, well, that means that you're, that's your problem, right? It's your problem. If you're too afraid to approach me because of the way I look, you're being prejudiced. I don't know what it is, right? You're being racist against me. How could you say that? Rarely smile and get straight to the point. I understand that it's very acceptable when talking to men and, and, and uh, your ability to get shit done. I don't think that that's just applicable to men. I think women are also attracted to men that are, how, how could I say, mysterious, right? Straight-faced men, stoic men, straight-to-the-point men rub women the right way, even though they may say otherwise. They are intrigued, right? I think I once heard someone say that when the mystery is gone, so is the romance. When there's a, when, when you're, too obvious when you're too plain, too upfront with your what, what your desires are, or you're, you're you're just kind of wearing your heart on your sleeve, and you're out there, and you're being blue pill, or, or or you're being beta aggressive. I think it's too much. But when you're quiet, when you're reserved, when you're just holding your own around women, right? You're not you're not uh, you're not being swept off with their uh, seductiveness. You know, women seduce whether they know it or not, right? Like, they, they don't have to do much for men to be like, oh, I, I think she might like me, right? This is the way guys think, or I think I need to do something because there may be a chance there. Maybe I got a chance, right? But when, you're, when you see those signs 
and you stand your ground and you just, you know, you're just, you're peaceable, you're cool, you're straight, uh, it, it, it touches something on the inside of a woman. It touches something on her. Women want to be touched. When I put it that, what do I mean by that? Women want to feel something and feeling something is better than nothing. And they stop feeling stuff when you're boring or you're like everyone else or they can sense that you are needy, right? That, that sense of curiosity, that sense of mystery, that sense of like ambiguity, that, that sort of tension that's in their body dissipates because they're like, oh, I got this guy figured out. I don't know what he wants. He's not that, he's not that special, right? He's showing all his cards, I don't know everything about him, but when you carry yourself in an attractive way, right? Meaning you're well put together, you stand up straight, you talk straight, and you you know you you you're you're a real man. But you're not giggling and gassing and smiling and and being too much. Women kind of kind of are like curious about you. Not all women, but a lot of women be like, hmm, it's the quiet ones. Have you ever heard that? It's the quiet ones. It's the quiet ones that are that a lot of times are more, a little bit more interesting, right? Especially in a world where everybody's gabbing. Everybody's gabbing. Everybody's talking. Everybody's showing off. Everybody's trying to prove themselves. Everybody wants validation. But if you're just a dude that's self-validated and you're not trying to get anybody to pay attention to you, you're not trying to be approachable, you're just being yourself, but you're demonstrating value, I think you're going to be more, more attractive to women. I think that's more attractive than somebody who's, all flamboyant, right? Like I used to be, right? <laughs> Think back, I shake my head at old, old uh, beta, beta E, right? I'm like, man, I was just trying too hard, right? Seeking validation, right? And, you know, uh, I was getting what I wanted to a degree, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't what I thought it was. <laughs> it was something else, right? So, I, you know, as I've gotten older and I've grown out of that, I don't really seek validation from women at all anymore, so it doesn't doesn't matter to me. Um, I don't do it, but still, there are women that are intrigued, curious, right? Especially because I have a little bit of status. I make YouTube videos, right? So if they find out, it's like they're like, ooh, uh. and then it's funny, especially guys when they meet me and they know I make YouTube videos. It's like I seen you talking, I seen you on YouTube, I seen all the things you gotta say, and then when they get around me and I'm quiet. Because this is, I just carry myself that way. That's just the way I carry myself. I'm, I'm fairly quiet. I'm actually kind of an introvert in many ways, right? So, you know, they're wanting me to like do the Yo Elliot dance. <clears throat> and I'm like, no, it's, I'm not on video right now, bro. So I'm just going to be cool with you. And I just try to be, I try to be laid back and cool. Now, I love what you say. You say, I have trouble balancing the tenderness with aggression when approaching or talking to women I'm attracted to. Any thoughts? Tenderness is, first of all, tenderness is perceived. You don't need to balance it within yourself, but there are things that you can do to tenderize, <laughs> if that's the right word, the women around you, right? So being witty, right? Being witty doesn't mean that you're smiling and laughing and being a, you know, a clown. Being witty is about the right word at the right time that zings someone, right? Being witty. See when there's an opportunity for wit. Just see, and if you're if you're speaking with these women and you're being around these women with intention to have a relationship with them, don't be afraid to use a little bit of sexual humor in your wit, right? I use sexual humor wit with my wife all the time because it's fun, right? I think it keeps the tension between she and I. She'll say something, and it's not the that's what she said. Right? How, remember that joke? That's what she said. That was like funny for a while, for a while, but it's that kind of joke, like that kind of like. Um, you know, sexual innuendo joke, right? So jokes, telling jokes makes a woman feel something, right? So on, on one, check this out. Check out the, the roller coaster of emotions that you can send a woman through. And they enjoy this. This is entertaining to a woman. They like guys who do this. On one hand, she's, she's mystified by you because you're not, you're not talking a whole lot, smiling a whole lot, and trying to get their attention like the other guys, right? If you carry yourself and you're demonstrating value, but you're not needing, she's going to be like, hmm. Then, so she's already got like this feeling, like something strange going on with this guy. I want to know more about him. He's mysterious. Then, a well-planted joke. Just a well-planted joke at the right time. 
especially if it could be a little a little racy, right? I'm not saying uh, 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 an obscene joke. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying something that's just a little like tongue in cheek, right? That what that's going to do is now you're tenderizing her. Let me put it that way. You don't have to be tender. <laughs> It's good. We could talk about the tender aggressive balance later, right? That's valid. You even got that term from me, so I've talked about this. But I'm not so sure that's what this question is about. I think it's more about tenderizing people around you, by allowing yourself to be. That's you get to be the stoic, strong, stable man, but then you get to get the girls to giggle by just saying little sm sn snide, sly things that makes them ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Right? When a girl giggles, remember I did that one video, one of my most popular videos on this channel is, uh, is about how a girl is like a flower, right? She's like a flower and you, she opens up and then you just, you could just plant your little, plant your little seed in there. Go watch that video. I think it's like the second most or the first most viewed video on my channel. I don't even remember what the hell the name of it is, but everybody loved it. And it's about how to, how to place that well-placed joke, how to, how to, how to make a woman feel something without you uh, needing anything from her, right? And jokes, jokes, uh, jokes, just don't use self-deprecating jokes. Never use self-deprecating jokes. A lot of guys, especially like the guys that are like the blue pill aggressive guys who are like, they're just, they think girls need them to be all, you know, all fun and stuff. They don't need you to be fun. They don't, they don't require that of you at all. There's different expectations contrary to what we've been taught. But that guy who, t who starts telling a bunch of jokes and then he starts with the self-deprecating jokes, that doesn't turn women on. In fact, it turns women off. I've seen guys do this with their wives where they'll like uh, call her, you know, oh, my better half. Or, you know, they'll make jokes about like, you know, I'm a lucky guy and be, to be with her, she tolerates me, puts up with me. That kind of joking um, turn makes you, turns women off especially if it's your woman and you're making jokes like that because she then is going to, you're putting the seed in her mind that, yeah, maybe he's right. <laughs> Why am I with this guy? What am I doing? And she's going to kind of roll her, roll her eyes on the inside, especially if you're saying that around other women. You're saying that around other women, she's going to be like embarrassed like because you're, you're now making her look bad because she's with you. Don't do self-deprecation. And so a woman's not going to want to be with you if you're self-deprecating. Self-deprecating jokes have no, have no room in this in these circumstances, right? Don't, don't make yourself look bad with the jokes. In fact, the other way around, you can kind of tease her a little bit, right? Not, not in a mean way, but make jokes that kind of jab, that kind of stab at her. It's kind of like a reverse shit test in, in another way, right? You want to tenderize a woman, you, make kind of, you kind of make jokes about her, right? Just say, some, say something that you, that you think she'll become self-conscious about and she'll feel something about it, but not in a mean way, in a teasing way, in a, in a teasing and fun way, right? Negging is what Tuhana says. Negging is a classic. Yeah, right. That's what they call it in dating, right? Negging, negating her, right? Just, just say, well, I don't date girls that whatever she has, right? Just say something just silly and fun, even though she knows it's a joke or something that, that allows the conversation to proceed, right? Uh, what else can you do to make things easy and tender for a woman when you're in her presence, especially if you are, you know, a manly man with a straight face, right? Uh, I think you get the point, though, anyway. So to come full circle, I think you're okay. I think you're okay being who you are. I would allow your unapproachableness and your, 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 your rarely smile and being straight to the point to actually be a feature that should be a feature. Feature it, right? You know what I've ever say? If you can't fix it, feature it. I think you should feature that. Like, just keep being you. It's not anything that you have to force, but don't try to change yourself or have judgments about yourself or try to do something different because some of your friends are telling you, you know, you don't look approachable, right? That's them and that's their hang up. You know the strangest thing? And I noticed this just about women in my life when I was younger, right? I really don't deal with women too much any longer. I remember the women that were most intrigued by me were the ones that were most confused by me. It was the craziest thing. They would, I knew a woman was interested in me when she came and complained about something that I am or something that I do, <laughs> right? It's a little strange. They, and, and I remember some women saying, 
coming up to me and, and saying things like, uh, you, why don't you smile more, right? Right? Uh, I think there were others. I had, I had one woman recently tell me that I'm, I'm too manly, she even said. She says, you're, a very, you're very manly, aren't you? <laughs> Almost like she was like, you know, you're too manly. And I thought it was the strangest thing. And I was like, I'll take that as a compliment. Right? And she almost wasn't sure. She just wasn't sure what to do with herself. She was like, he, this guy is very manly. And I don't know if I want to fight him or the other F. Right? <laughs> trying to keep my language clean. Right? I, she, didn't, she couldn't figure out what to do with herself because I was just being me. Right? And she had hangups about the way I was being. But at the same time, she was intrigued, drawn, drawn to me. She will be drawn to you. If you keep being the way you are, she's going to be drawn to you. But if you start acting the way you think she wants you to act, <laughs> she ain't going to be drawn to you. Do not do what women ask you to do. Do not behave the way women think they want you to behave. The more you are just you, the more attractive you're going to be, right? Always demonstrate value. I don't, I'm not saying be you, meaning be a slap dick, right? Like, yo, dude, you're lazy, you're nasty. Look at you, get your shit together. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about be a high value man, demonstrate your value, but don't need to, don't need anything in return, right? Don't be a needy guy, right? That's becoming too aggressive, being too needy, right? So, I don't know, I don't know where I was going with that or if I had anything else I wanted to add to it, but you continue to be you. Women will be intrigued by you being you. Uh, practice wit, you know. Uh, there, there's another term in pickup. I think they call it um, agree and amplify. I think that's what I did. I think that's what I did when, the, when this, it was a lady, right? She was like my age. She was grown. Can't call her a girl no more, right? The past 40. Past 30, you're not a girl anymore. Um, she was a woman. She was like, yeah, she was like, you're very manly. And so I agreed. I was like, hmm. <laughs> and I amplified and just made me just feel more manly. And I was like, yeah, damn right. Damn right. I'm so manly that you can't keep your eyes off me, right? I'm so manly that, uh, you know, you, you, you have to say something. You have to take notice. So agree and amplify. Just agree. Yeah, I'm unapproachable. What you doing over here approaching me, right? I'm so unapproachable that you, unappro that you approaching me about my lack of smile. Maybe you're gonna teach me how to smile. You wanna show me how to smile? Do that thing with your lips. What do you do? Right? Just be kind of silly. Be kind of like a little silly and fun with them. And, uh, and I think you'll be okay, bro. That's all I gotta say about that, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.